Hey guys, welcome back to Battling in My Backyard with Jeremiah. Today we are going to build a outdoor box for the electrical components that are required to run this system here. Basically I've got an air pump that sits here. This aquarium light that I have inside of here, this is not supposed to get wet. Even though that can fully go in the water, this is not supposed to be getting wet. So I had this little guy here to keep it dry, but this thing's pretty much junk and it's constantly full of water. I've uh, popped the GFCI on this a uh, couple times now. So let's jump into it and see how we do this. So what I'm gonna need for this build is a Tupperware box with a, a good solid lip that rolls over. So I'm gonna drill holes up under this lip to run the wires and the lines into the box. Uh, and then this lid will protect even further. It hangs down below uh, so the water will drip off this way. Additionally, I will pop some holes in the bottom of this thing so that I can prevent water from building in there. So if water did happen to leak inside somehow, I want it to drain out as well. So I'm going to pop some holes in the lowest points of that box. The first thing I'm going to do is pop in the hole for the air line of the pump. It's quite a large one. Uh, it's a 3 8 ID, so it's a half inch or so on the outside, so I'm going to use a half inch drill to run that line in there. I'm going to take the lid off so I don't accidentally damage that because that's not where I want the, the hole to go. I did crack the box just a little, but it shouldn't be a problem, it'll still work. This size drill is going to be used for the other electrical components. I've got this guy, which I can run uh, that's not gonna go either. So I'm going to go ahead and cut V's instead of holes. Uh, I think it's going to work better for realizing that some of these pieces have to fit through there. I don't have another end to that, so I can't get that in there. Uh, plus it's just going to be easier and the lip of the lid is really what's going to prevent water coming in. Good, good. See a couple of notches in there. Uh, shouldn't be a problem to put, put those wires in now. I will drill my drain holes here in the bottom before I put everything in there. So we're gonna go ahead and go a little deeper with the V on this side. Nice and safe, that'll be dry in there. Great news, great news. Water could run down in here and that's why I have those drain holes down there. I don't wanna make, I wanna make sure that the little bit of water that does get in here is gonna get right out. I'll do another one here for the pump line to come out. Pump line out. Okay, let's get stuff plugged in here. Alright guys, I know this was a nice short video, but uh, it's a quick build on how to keep this stuff dry. I just kind of thought, oh, maybe I could make something. Uh, if it doesn't work, uh... <laughs>
This thing is working fantastically. It has been dumping down rain for the last several days and everything is bone dry inside this box. Super, super impressed with how well it's working. I was worried that some of this water here, if you see those droplets, would run down inside of that box, but they seem to be dripping right off of the edge as soon as they cut in, because when I've opened this up to check, uh, no water is running down that line, so it's doing very good. There is a lot of water on top of this box. Uh, let me just show you how much it's been raining. It's, my pond is so overflowing right now that uh, the pond itself is actually coming up onto the sidewalk. And I don't have a good overflow system for this. So it's well, well beyond where it should be back over here. The pond level is, the pond wall runs right along this perimeter right up here. Kind of does a swoop this way. So it's probably eight feet behind the pond wall up into the garden space back there. Like I said, I, I popped that GFI three times now. So this will at least keep these components dry so that I don't keep doing that. Thanks for checking us out. We'll see you in the next video.